Welcome back to the dungeon that is Hank and Henry. <laughs> Welcome back. Here is another day. So glad to be alive. Grateful for the all that I have. And I hope you are excited to be here. Um, love my little night owls. I wanted to do a fun and really glam yet simplistic look, but also kind of edgy and also kind of like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> So as you guys know, I told you that I've been kind of just sitting down and just jumping into makeup without having any real plans on what it is that I'm doing. So this is the look that I created today. I really liked it. Loving all of this right now. So I hope you guys stay tuned, grab a drink, grab a drink and have a sit down with, you know, Henry and Hank. <laughs> Okay, so this look is going to be another creative look. I'm super excited to do some more creative looks. I feel like I've been doing a lot of glam looks, so this will be fun. Today, we're going to focus a little bit more on, I wanna use some deep contrast and then some light pops. Um, some of the things that I will be using today is uh, maybe some blues. It's called Velour, and it was from Kat Von D's old metal matte palette. So I'm really gonna focus on using that and also using um, um, some new products that NYX, NYX, NYX Professional is coming out with, which we are gonna use at the end, which is the Love You So Mochi collection. Um, and we will get to these more towards the end of the look. So let's start off with some skin. <laughs> okay, just like I said in the last video, I've been using this Unicorn Essence from Farsali, and it is a skin enhancing antioxidant serum. I really do like it a lot. Um, with a lot of stuff that comes out, you're always kind of like, is the hype real or is the hype bullshit? <laughs> is this on boo? That's on bullshit. But I actually really, really like this. I like how all the booty bloggers do it. You just drop it on your face. Oh. Get on my face. Um, I don't know if it's, it just feel, it feels really, really nice actually to be honest. So I'm just gonna put that all over, moisturize that skin, moisturize my little heart. Little heart. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to throw on my Hydra Matte Lotion that dries, that actually mattifies down a little bit. So I really, really liked it a lot when I started using it and I've been kind of just hooked on it. So we're gonna use that. I'm throwing it on with my fingers. I am not even mad at it. So now what I'm gonna do is um, whenever I do my foundation, sometimes I'll do my eyes first, sometimes I'll do my foundation first. Uh, you'll get to know that I am not consistent with doing my look the same way more than a couple of times. So this time I'm going to start with a primer first, which is the Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox. So this is a silicone primer and I really, really like silicone primers. I don't like lotion primers. I feel like they don't do anything for me. So this is the Smashbox, this is almost done too. The Photo Finish Primer in SPF 20. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm actually gonna start my makeup with my concealer first. So you guys know that one of my favorite concealers that I always use is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I have been using this a lot. I will definitely be using in the future different stuff to try it out. But right now I kind of want you guys to get used to what I am using the most and what I love the most so that when I do compare it to stuff later on, like different brands and different concealers, you can see why it is that I will always wind up going back to these certain products. So I'm gonna be using the um, Central Skin Enhancer from Kevin Kwan in shade SX02. We're gonna throw it over these bags, which actually don't look that bad right now. Usually um, my bags lightly because you know what? It's the new year and I've been fucking, I've been throwing it around. I'm like, brruh, 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 brruh. So, you know, my bags have been a little bit extra lately, but you know, they're not that bad right now. I am mad at it. So this is a brush from um, Be Bella and I really like this. It is a good, it's a cute little fluffy brush. Just throw a little bit of product, 
this product goes a long way. Sometimes I'll put the concealer um, over or sometimes I'll put it under. For me, I'm gonna put this Central Skin Enhancer under this time and you'll notice. So whenever I put it over my foundation, it makes my under eye area really, really light. And then when I put it under my foundation, there's still that lightness, but it's just not as intense. This time though, I'm gonna drag it a little bit down to my five o'clock shadow so we can make sure that goes away. <laughs> All over the place. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW22, one of my faves. And I'm gonna be apply it with the Kat Von D foundation brush. This is brush 10. And I'm gonna throw it all over the smug. Okay, so I'm gonna throw it all over the side first. But as you can see, when I start to go in, the lightness from the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer is just gonna start to lighten up a bit as it's blending into the NW22. Okay, so now that I have that all onto my face, I take a mirror and I'm like, damn, you pill. <laughs> oh my God, sorry, I say a lot of random things. I'm a very random individual the life I chose. So next thing I'm gonna do, now that I kind of have all this into my fosser, is I'm gonna go and do some contour. You guys know I am all about the cream contour. This is actually MAC Full Coverage in NW40. So I'm going to take my little favorite brush that I've been using, which is the JD Weighty 180 Contour Brush with Luxie. Just throw this, so this is NW40 from MAC. And then so after I lay this onto my face, I turn the brush around and I use the fluffy side and I just buff it all out. You know, I tell a lot of people too, when you're getting foundations, a lot of people get really scared if the foundation doesn't match perfectly. But with contour and highlighting, the you can lighten up or darken any foundation to really match your skin tone and to make your look come together so you don't have to be so worried if the color is like not perfectly matched to your skin. I always tell people it's a lot safer to go a shade lighter than it is to go a little bit darker because it's a lot easier to warm stuff up than it is to lighten it up. So see that just blends all over really, really nicely. And that is the MAC Full Coverage in NW40. Mm-hmm, yes, live your life. And then, so now I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Brightening Powder, and this is shade Petal. Petal. Like on a flower petal. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw this all over my mug. So I really like going in with the powder and just really packing it in. Yes, look at, it's, I, I, I'm really a big fan of just really packing that powder in. Um, I, I feel like it gives you a really good clean finish. I have a lot of texture on my skin. So by doing this, it eliminates a lot of the texture. Okay, so now I'm gonna use Refined Golden from MAC as my bronzer. And I'm gonna use this little Morphe brush in their holiday collections, it's so cute. So with powders, I really like to go in circular motions. I don't want it to look too much etched out. I want you to be able to tell that it's there. Okay, so after I do that, um, I'm always on and off with blush. Sometimes I don't use blush, sometimes I do. Um, today I am gonna be using Style from MAC. This is such an old school blush. This was like one of my first experiences with using like any kind of non-matte blush on my face or even like highlight. So this is really, really pretty. And the reason why I want it is it's just gonna add a little bit of warmth. There's a little bit of a sheen, but not too much. It's it's nice, it's, it's light. There's not like too much going on with it, but I'm about to throw on a highlight. So I feel like this will help keep it nice and warm because I, I love I'm really a big fan of orange tones uh, warm tones on my face so for this look I'm going to use the Jeffree Star 24 karat skin frost pro palette and I'm going to use the color sarcophagus 
and I'm gonna use this more so on the higher part of my cheekbone than on the lower part. So we are just highlighted and then a little bit on the cupid's bow. I heard that's what all the cool kids are doing. I feel like I'm getting to that age where I'm gonna start saying dad jokes for reals. Okay, so for my lips, so we're going all over the place. Like we're doing, I didn't even finish my eyes, haven't started my brows, but guess what? We're gonna start on my lips. Um, definitely, I was really excited. Kat Von D sent me her new lip collection. There's like 55 million lip colors in there, plus a white color. Um, I know she has this as one of her liquid lipstick colors, which is Crucifix. So let me just show you how cute these are. Look how cute. Focus. Yes, look at that, look at that. So um, I was really excited to get these. Crucifix is actually one of my favorite liquid lipstick colors from her. So I was really excited that she came out with the lipstick shade. So I'm gonna put this mug on and we're gonna get the drama. Okay, so we put on the Crucifix lipstick from the Kat Von D new lipstick collection. So it went on really, really nice. It is a, maybe a little bit lighter than the actual liquid lipstick, which I wish it was a little bit darker, but there, I think there's actually a darker shade in there. And to be honest, I had foundation on my lips, so that probably lightened it up too. But these feel amazing. Sometimes I always forget, my, my followers, my night owls always tell me, they're like, um, can you contour your nose? And I'm like, oh, don't come for me like that. You don't know my life. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm really excited to use these. I just got these sent by NYX Professional, my friends at NYX, and I am super excited. The collection is called Love You So Mochi. And these are, so they have these, let me show you this. So it's these bad boys. And you cannot tell, but there is, these are so soft and creamy. Super excited to play with these and see how these come out. Um, also, there is a Love You So Mochi highlight. I, you can't really see, but they're super creamy. And they, almost have like a different layer of color scent. I'm all really liking it. So I'm actually going to use the um, Love You So Mochi palette. And I don't know why, but this yellow color is screaming to use him and abuse him. So I am definitely, definitely gonna be using this. I think this is shade eight, which would be considered a press pigment. So I'm not gonna use any kind of eyeshadow to use as a transition color. I'm actually just gonna go in with this color and see what happens. So let's all pray. Okay, I got it. So I'm gonna use this yellow shade right here. Super excited. And just to make sure I do it safe, a little bit of a uh, setting spray on this mug. So I'm really, really loving this. It's super. So the finish on this is a little bit more of a metallic. It's a pressed pigment, but um, the main ingredients in these is actually dimethicone. Dimethicone is a really good binder to the skin. So it's really good. It makes it really soft to the touch as well. So this is super soft to the touch and it's really sticking onto the skin. But as you can see, it's a little bit more of a um, metallic finish or shimmer finish. Love it. Okay, so I put the yellow all over and now for the waterline, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to use this color that's right above it, which is the pink. And I'm gonna try to use it in the waterline. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, so let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. 
Okay, so we did the eyes. Now I'm gonna go and throw on some lashes. You guys already know I'm gonna use my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot um, collab with Makeup Shayla. I'm gonna throw this on favorite mascara. This shit is banging. Banging and orangutanging. So now I'm gonna put on my lashes, my go-to, which is Nib. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put on my Naboonsum Lashes in Bella. And then while I let those dry, I'm gonna get a little bit more. So there's also a really pretty peach color and I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna throw that all on top of my lip since we're getting all into this mochi. And because it has dimethicone as one of its ingredients, which is a really good binder, it is just sticking nicely onto this lipstick. You know, when you try something and you're not sure if it's gonna do well, but then it does well, that's <laughs> what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is our brows. So I'm going to use Benefits Goof, Goof Proof brow pencil in shade four. I really like this because it's really easy to work with. And you can literally just go and blend it out super nicely. I've been doing a lot of like intense brows as of late. So for this look, we're gonna keep it nice and simplistic. Come on, Mochi. Come on, Nyx. Come on, Benefit. Boom. And there you go. Look at this. Guys, I'm feeling this. So this is the look. I hope, I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. I hope you lived your life a little bit. I am really loving this Mochi palette from uh, Nyx. Loving the highlight the lashes, everything about this. You guys, please make sure you let me know what you wanna see from me. If you have any suggestions, or you know, if you just wanna talk some shit, you know, say bruh, bruh, bruh. And like always, I like to end every one of these with just a little thing for my night owls and um, my followers and subscribers. Um, today, I would like to say um, set goals. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that, I think it's really important that you set goals for yourself. Even if they're little goals, just set goals. I think it's so important because when you start achieving them, it just gives you so much pride. And I think it's so important to make sure that you you do things that gives you validation of your, you know, that you're trying, you're working. And it doesn't have to be anything big. You know, I was telling my little cousin the other day, you know, hey, you know what? Just wipe your butt a little bit better. Just try two days wiping your ass just a little bit better. He was so proud coming out the toilet tissue be like, Look, cousin Henry, I wipe. I was like, nah, fool, calm down. So it don't have to be big. It could be something little. But I'm just saying, you know, there's nothing but love. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. Be nice. And until I see you guys next time, bye-bye.